morning, peeps. It's a little weird, but I'm trying to get ready for my uh, for my morning Uber. It's like six o'clock in the morning. In the past, I used to start about four o'clock for the best Uber rides of shame. But I bring this to you, and I had to think about it because I didn't know if I was literally gonna tell you or not. But uh, I had a situation happen yesterday on Uber that has never, ever, ever happened to me. Now, I almost did a video immediately, but the more that the situation played out, the more I was thinking about, do I do it or not? Because I do not believe that it was what I thought it was. I think just somebody had an ultimately bad day. I would love comments on this one. Seriously, like, did I do the right thing? Should I have done something different? Um, I guess technically in the long run it doesn't matter because it's over. And I did what I thought was the right thing. So this episode is going to go out for props for those really thick blue paper towels that you can get at Walmart or part stores got some dude on it. It's not the brawny guy. But they're blue and they are heavy duty paper towels, man. They're expensive. But I'll tell you what. Kudos to those cats because of this story. Now the main reason why I'm telling this story is because of the location of where it happened and the complete jerk and racism that I experienced yesterday uh, from an AKA so-called Christian. Now, if you guys know me at all, I'm very, uh, very against the whole racist thing and grew up uh, in a very diverse uh, very diverse neighborhood school system all that and grew up to be um, just friends and relate quite honestly sometimes more to um, I wouldn't say that any one particular race I would say I just relate to the uh, more poor, more uh, hard growing up type things, right? So anyway, on to the story. I apologize for shaving and doing that, but I gotta get I gotta get moving. So uh, that's probably not good with that fan, right? Oh well, if somebody has a seizure, it's on them. Okay, this is probably around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Get a request for a new ride, and it is in a poorer part of Wichita. And uh, I go down there and I see this skinny white kid who looks like he's planting a yard sign in someone's someone's front yard, you know, like one of those, hey, I just got my roof done, hey, look at there, you guys saved me, just got my roof done, or siding by Anderson, or something like that, or windows by Anderson, they put the little advertisement thing in the front, or vote for me, um, all that good stuff, anyway, uh, so I see that, and I pull into this address, and for the sake of people uh, either congratulating this cat or being upset with this cat. I'm just going to give the address of 1301. I'm not going to give you the street name. Anyway, what is going on with that? Um, so I pull into the driveway because I'm like, oh, here, here's the address, right? And there's like one of these signs in the front yard. And it's handwritten and it says, God can see you all. 
and it's got a big privacy fence along the driveway and there's a cross on it and there's a whole bunch of like religious stuff on the front door and I'm thinking what would I get myself into not because I'm mad at the big guy I'm all about God um, probably not as good as I should be but you know I think the guy's okay and uh, anyway um, So I'm waiting and waiting and waiting, and all of a sudden, the skinny white kid knocks on my window, and he says, Excuse me, I think you're my Uber. <laughs> he said, uh, I shit you not, and there is a pun. He said, I, uh, I understand if you don't want to take me. He goes, but I shit myself, and I have this sign that I can sit on. If you don't want to take me, I'll pay the cancellation fee. And I'm thinking to myself, this guy's like a mental dude, and what did I get myself into? Is this guy homeless? But when I was looking at him, and again, not because of his race, when I was looking at him, he was probably barely 20. He's between 20 and 23. He's about 5'8", and he's probably 120 pounds at best, maybe. And he's got, like, this nicer shirt on and these shorts, <laughs> shorts, <laughs> that he had on. And one of those, like, he had, like, an ID badge thing. And I think what he was doing was trying to sell stuff going door to door, but he was, like, in the hood. So I'm sitting there talking to him and I'm trying to debate. I said, I said, you really, you really shit yourself. And he was like, yes. He's like, man, I'll Venmo you $35. I'll, you know, and I, at the time I didn't know what Venmo was and this is yesterday. So I learned something. So thank you to the shit kid. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I'm just a money whore or what, but my gut was telling me to take this kid. Everything else about me was saying, do not take this kid. Like, I, so th imagine, right? It's your car and you're going to put a kid in the back seat that has legit shit his pants. And so... I pop my trunk to make sure that I have those paper towels or some other towels or some blankets or whatever else. But because I decided to start picking people up, I clean my trunk out. But I did have a roll of those really thick blue paper towels. And so I started unraveling these paper towels. And he said, he said, but I have that sign. What he was doing was he was taking that sign out of somebody's yard instead of putting it in. And so I told him, I said, that sign that you said you, that you're going to sit on, I said, is that the sign you just took out of the yard across the street? Yeah. I said, so it's not your sign? No. I said, go put the sign back, man. Okay. And that was the moment that I thought, all right, this, this kid, maybe not mental, maybe he just like legitimately, I don't know, raise your hand if you ever shit your pants as an adult. So, I started unraveling all these paper towels, and I'm 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 gonna use the whole roll, man. I had just literally, literally bought new seat covers. Fifty bucks, man. So, I'm placing them all down, and a little bit, little bit when it first happened, and I start unraveling paper towels. This guy comes out, and he's like, "Can I help you?" And I said, yes, sir, I'm just picking up an Uber. The kid yells out to him, I put in the wrong address. I'm sorry, because I had pulled partially in the driveway. So I can understand why this guy was like, what's going on? And he lives in the hood, so I get it. What are you doing? And so I'm unraveling this stuff, but it's taking some time. So then this guy comes back out, and he doesn't leave his porch. And he says, you guys need to move, and I'll quote, you guys need to move the fuck on. You need to get out of my driveway. 
I said, sir, I'm almost done. You can relax. I said, I'll be out of your hair in just a minute. You didn't. I know you're going to be leaving. You best be leaving. Okay. And so I'm finishing up. Because I don't want to tell the guy he shit himself, right? Like, this, this kid legit has his head hanging just straight down. And he's talking about how embarrassing it is and everything else. And he's like, uh, you know, I swear. And and the thing that kept tripping me up was, oh, I'll pay you twenty five bucks. I'll pay you thirty bucks. I'll pay you thirty five. I'll pay you thirty. I'll pay you thirty. I swear, thirty five. I swear. So I wasn't sure if he was all there. By the way, according to him, Uber only allows a fifteen dollar tip. So at least it was an extra fifteen bucks, right? Um, and. So, because of all the God stuff, man, I was like, so the guy was, you know, still chipping his teeth and shit, and I got done, I set everything down, so that it wouldn't hopefully seep through, and the kid sat down, and I went over, and as I was getting in the car, I said, sir, I was just trying to be Christian, which I think technically I was. I was trying to do the right thing, if that happens to be Christian, then, you know, bonus points, maybe? But I, I said that because I noticed all the, you know, like, hey, just chill out, dude. Just be patient. And this guy says, white people don't know fuck about God. Nope. I digress. Shit. Hmm. White people don't know shit about God. And then he kept rambling and rambling. And I said, okay, God bless you. Which I found very strange. For someone who has a sign that says, God can see you all. Because although my relationship with God is like this. Compassion. Uh, all of us being one kind of thing. I don't know. I, I have never personally struggled with finding friends in any race. Um, I assume that they don't judge me. I know I don't judge them. And it was disheartening. Like, I actually want to go back to this guy's house. But with his view of why people don't know God, like, we can't know God, is unchristian and racist. And so, in fact, two of my five rides yesterday were black people. We had the best conversations. They were incredibly polite. They thanked me for Great conversation and a safe ride. And they reminded me why I liked doing Uber. So, I guess at the end of the story, of this shitty story, I just want to say that if any of you are paying any attention understand that it's not the color of your skin it's what's in here and in here right and I want to believe that the majority of America is like that so if you're white and someone black is giving you hardship or calling you racist or whatever understand they just suck as a person and if you're black and there's a white person who's saying some racist shit. Understand that it's it's not a white thing. It's that person. And they just suck as a human being. I think the majority of us can wrap our heads around that. Just do the right thing to the right people at the right time, man. That's all it is. Alright, well thanks for listening to my crappy story. <laughs> Peace out. Shit his pants.